So we're gonna go to Krankenflugel. Uh, shit, there's two Krankenflugel floors. Which one has the flugel horn on it? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go to Frankenflugel B because it doesn't really matter. I would go to Frankenflugel B if my brain worked, and instead of pressing the self-destruct the entire facility button, uh, I could actually, you know. But yeah, you take the card out, and then you can actually uh, go through the door to the left there. You know what? I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna redo this. Oh, that was embarrassing. Hi, Demi Jiggity Howdens, folks. I'm your host, Draskin, and welcome to episode three of Signalis. In the last episode, we got the Key of Love, uh, which is not an exaggeration. We got the Key of Love, we got the radio module, we got a few other things that were important. Uh, the Key of Love, unfortunately, does not make the replicas love you, so they will still keep attacking you, which is very unfortunate and very toxic. Uh, it's a very toxic work environment here in this place. Uh, we're currently on floor number one. Which we're not really supposed to be here because the name was taped off, but that doesn't that doesn't stop me. I can't read. So we're here. In order to be able to get through here to get the elusive shotgun ammo before you even get the shotgun, and also to speak to a very special someone that you met in a very awkward situation about five minutes ago, put the identity well once you get up here, press the self-destruct the entire facility button. If you've never used an elevator before, that's what that button does. You press that button, the card comes out. Then the facility explodes in about five minutes. Then you take the card out, and the door will open. It's a very stingy piece of shit. But now that we've done all that, and I've embarrassed myself five more times, put the identification card back in, and now we're gonna select any number of these floors that isn't two, because we were just there, and that wouldn't make any sense. So we're gonna go down to the Krankenflugel floor B, because I hope to find a Krankenflugel horn down there. Press the blue button to go down. Note that it doesn't matter which floor you go to, because we'll only get as far as floor 3 before the inevitable, convenient thing happens where... The elevator fucking breaks. It doesn't break in the traditional horror sense, it literally just blue screens because it runs out of power. It's really quite incredible. Uh, it was definitely not someone responsible for it. I wonder if they've been watching us this whole time, it probably would make a lot of sense. And just like the debit card machine, if you leave your debit card in there for longer than two seconds when you turn around and try to put money away, it eats your fucking card. It's such a great system. Love it! I'm so glad they kept that technology. This door is even more open than the last one. They really should close it, because someone's gonna fall down there. And don't mind me, I also did take a bit of damage in the last episode, so my spleen hurts. That's a shotgun. What you use for that is you use it to shot goons in the face. It's really quite a marvel, actually. So now we're on... Uh, by the way, I actually should have prefaced this beforehand, but the key of love in the last episode, you'll definitely want to make sure you get that before you come down here because you can't go back and get it again. Given the fact that they just ate my fucking card, I can't, can't go back. Pick up the shotgun. So because this is a massive uh, fuck-off cannon in its own way, I'm going to equip it and use this in case of... Die Pinchy. Uh, you can save if you want. I won't, because I like living on the edge. This is a special, sophisticated piece of technology that we will be using very shortly. It's really quite a marvel. So, uh, how do I want to tackle this? There's a few keys we need to get in order to get through a door on this floor. That rhymes. This is the X-ray room. This is important because you can look at the very inner workings of some very, very sensitive objects, like this gun, for instance. You can also look at the inside of someone's hand to see how they tick. You can also look at someone's... Uh, th this is a replica skull. It's a very, very good model. It's a little more jaggedy than real skulls. Not that I would know. I don't really... I don't have one for reference. It's not even in my head. But this is the thing that you want. This is a card. You use this to commit identity fraud and identity theft. Both are pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, that this is stuck in a rock. I don't know how the fuck they got it stuck in a rock, but yeah. This doohickey here isn't important. It's just used to latch onto a giant white ball in the sky and siphon everyone of their energy and ruin the plot and then immediately just get deleted out of the game about two years or three years later. Uh, that That's not a reference to anything important at all. This is the morgue. I don't want to die just yet, though I, I, I do have a massive craving. 
but I don't want to go in there just just yet because there's nothing I can really do in there other than die and uh, bring other people to their deaths while I'm at it. So we're gonna try and sneaky breaky past this stork here because there's a number of things we need in over here. This is the door in which I was talking about. This is an elemental door, and we need elemental keys in order to get through this. This is a chiruki. This is a very involved floor. This is a puzzle that stumps quite a number of people for good reason, and we will explain it in depth and give some extra examples on how to solve it once we get there. But for now, I'm going to keep sneaking around with very minimal inventory spots. Get the pump room key so I can go and pump a room full of water. A dead Ara Ara unit. She looks strangely peaceful. I would be too in a bathroom like this. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. The pump room is down here. Use the key and go through the door. Good job, you figured it out. So, reservoir damage instructions. With tank A full, here's to equalize or what? Equal, equalize? Brain? Well, fuck it. Fill tank B, then fill tank A or C with water, only from tank B. Move the water from tank C back to tank A. Fill tank C again with the remaining water from tank B, then we fill tank B from the tank A, then we fill C with. What drainage system malfunction to all medical wing hours? The automatic equalizer pumps in the flood drainage system will still appear to be broken, causing the water level to be flooded. Since we're currently focusing repair efforts on the East Wing Restructure Resource Worker, the drainage system pressure has to be manually equalized from the control panel in your control now. To drain the water, make sure the bay, the old the bay, the shoot the edge, can you put up? It's a bit tricky to get the tire to tank to, to fucking fuck! Okay, so if you fuck up, inevitably, just fill tank A and start over again. But basically, if my brain works and I can figure this out first try, you move from tank A to tank B, B to C, C to A, B to C, a to B, B to C, C to A. Excellent. If my brain said the instructions out loud correctly, hopefully that helps. If it didn't, and I inadvertently just kind of jumbled mumbled it like I did with the wet uh, just follow along what I did visually, because obviously whatever I did with my eyeballs worked. Oh no! I picked up the repair spray, right? Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna use it. I need to use a lot of healing items because I'm bad at the game. Oh, yeah. So now that I've done that, I'm going to jump down into the abyss below. This is one of the keys we need. Can you guess what element key this is? Hmm, I'll give you five guesses. You guessed incorrectly, probably. It's a very, very, very hard key to guess correctly. Uh, we're gonna... we have enough slots. Wow, we actually have enough slots to go and pick up the item in here without having to go back to storage. It's amazing. Pick up some ammo. Yeah. And now pick up this key. What element is this? I asked that question as you saw it. I don't know what a blank element is, though. You were a little too close for comfort. I don't want you around. Get out of my face. So, uh, now I don't have any room to pick up the exam room key. What a joke. What a stupid, I don't believe it. I'm gonna store a stun prod so I can pick up another stun prod. I am so sophisticated. I'm gonna pick up the exam room key because, uh... Untersuch Zimmer! Hans Zimmer's my favorite composer. That's a lie. I don't. Okay. I'm gonna go in here because... 
There's a video cassette tape with 512 on it. That number keeps popping up. It's actually quite disconcerting. Uh, no space to carry repair patch. Be mindful that in this room there are terrible things that crawl around in the floor that pop up out of the floor when they want to come and kill you. All four of them, to be exact. It's really quite terrible. So our ultimate goal, uh, for basically no reason. Time of incident. All the time. Location of incident, medical wing. Elf keeps using my wrench and misplacing the 10 millimeter socket. I have been reprimanded for not repairing the fan in the vent in the lower level, but I can't remove the vent cover without a 10 millimeter wrench socket. I know she's doing it on purpose. That bitch. That's our ultimate goal on this floor. I'm just kidding, it's not our ultimate goal. It's one of our ultimate goals. So every time you have the enemies that spawn out of the floor, you can literally just go through a door and despawn them. It's uh, the greatest antidote to a problem that should never exist in the first place. Go away, ya! <sighs> So needy. Oh, that's what the key of love does. Fair enough. Makes them obsessive compulsive. Compelled to obsess over me. Okay, sorry about that. My tracking decided to explode. And by that I mean I forgot to charge my device and it kind of sort of died on me. Uh, which is customary. Anyway, I don't know why I tried to go that way. My brain also died while the thing happened, so... Anyway, down here, through the ele uh, elevators. They're manual elevators, you have to pull yourself up. Uh, that's how we get back upstairs. It's the only way. What is with... Is this, is this actually gonna just keep happening? Where they're just gonna keep on being there every single time? Mm, eh, probably. It really is amazing how it works. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to... Uh, if you remember from the x-ray room, there is an item that you can get that will help make that easier, but you can take a screenshot of the key, the orientation of the key, because that's important for this here. The blank key that we just picked up. So we put the blank key in the in the terminal here, and then we define the pattern by looking up what the dictionary definition of blank is. I'm just kidding. So in order to define the key, to get the key to work, we need to go to the top left node here, and then when we select it, you go right, down, right, up, down, down, right, up. And then you print the pattern and waste valuable paper. Oh, you know, you print it into the actual key itself. Because we can't actually get the key that is in the x-ray examination room, I wish, but the glass is too strong versus our shotgun. Despite the fact that the shotgun is uh, immensely powerful. And, uh, yeah. So we have to actually make the new key, and then, uh, do that. Now I'm gonna use the exam room card, because that's what this room is. And we're gonna get another key. I'm lying. That's not where we get the key. We're gonna pick up the 10 millimeter socket, because we do actually need that. Quick curing construction foam. Uh, this isn't super important to read. It's basically what I mentioned in the first part, where you can take a repair patch and a repair spray, combine them, and add a plus, and also change the color of the repair spray, because that makes sense. This is an auto-injector. This automatically injects you. That's it. So I need to... I'm just kidding. The auto-injector gives a large boost of health instantly, but it can also be equipped like the tools can, like the disposable stun prod. You can uh, equip it, and if you take a hit that would actually kill you, beyond the one that kind of bitches at you to get good and stop getting hit, uh, you will immediately heal and not die. So that's helpful. Sometimes. It's helpful in uh, situations where you're why is it that every single time I go through a door, there's the enemy right there? Why do you keep doing it? Why do you, why must you, why do you insist? So we have the water key. And we have the blank key. Which is supposed to be for the earth key. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So now we picked up the 10 millimeter socket. 
the wrench it belongs to is in this room here. Aura unit. All purpose repair worker replica. You know how she's a repair worker? She's got a lot of wrenches to throw in things. Ah ha 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 ha. Pick up repair spray. Uh, I'm gonna use it. Nah, no, I don't. I don't need to. Good. I'm so glad you're there. Combine the socket with the wrench. Um, I gotta go that way anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just run through here and just drop back down through the water, just because it's a pain in the ass to get past that one. It's a pain in the ass to get past this one too, but. Haha, <laughs> dodged. Elite successful dodge, don't mind if I do. I'll pick that up when I come back. Okay, so now we use uh, the wrench on this. And very robotically shift it out of the way. It's perfect, very satisfying. What key do you think this is? I'll give you five guesses. Pick up the air key. I picked it up while also cutting off my hand. I'm so smart and so expert. Uh, you don't, you have no idea. All right. So now that we have that, I'm gonna pick up some more ammo. Uh, not that I need it. Uh, I will actually just use this prepare spray. I don't really need to. I'm gonna grab some ammo for a gun that we don't have. But we will be getting it in the next area, I believe. I'm gonna stop in here and clear out some of my inventory space by means of the ammo that I picked up, because I don't really need it. And now we head back up to the door. Can you, like, stop it? That was illegal, ref. I'm gonna have to ask you to pull out the red card on that one. Oh, come on, man. Why do you just keep... Do huh? See what I mean? I'm glad that's happening again, though, because it makes for content. So we got the air key. That is for the L, because I don't want to. I don't want to keep hanging on to this L, boss man. We want more Ws. These dubs. They really do insist on just spawning in my path every time. Okay. So now that we picked up the video cassette from down in that one room. Alina's diary. It's for the VCR to the next to the left of us. We're not watching Bill Nye the Science Guy. Sorry, class, but something is wrong. Nobody will tell me what's happening. But ever since I woke up, everyone has been be hacking strangely. <laughs> People be acting strange. The protectors won't let me leave my room and return to work, even though the wound from my fall is already healed. I think there must have been an accident in the mine. I overheard two Yules whispering in front of my room that they're running out of staff. I'm worried that something has happened to Elster. I haven't heard from her in a while. I can't just sit around here any longer. Alina Seo. Alina Seo, I need to do something. I need to say or something. What do we got? That German phrase there was the way home. I know because I translated it 15 years ago. Booyan! Booyan! We are on rot front again. And, oh, this is the white-haired girl. Oh, she vanished. Oh. Okay, fine. Is it bad to pick up white-haired chicks on a train? Operation Penrose. Volunteers wanted, I guess. Volunteers needed. I don't know what that, uh, what that there is supposed to be, like the poster down there, it's a bit too pixelated for me to see, but I think it looks like something we'll get later, but I can't really be sure. It's not the same as the, oh, actually it's, it is the Penrose thing, never mind. It's just tinted green because of the yellow glass, which is very strange. Why did you put the, whatever. Anyway, so she, uh, the white haired girl is made of gold, so 
that's why she dropped a gold key when she disappeared. That makes perfect sense. I love it. Uh, there's another auto injector there in case you want to auto inject yourself with uh, auto stuff. I mean, you are a replica, so you can inject yourself with uh, Castrol Tom's oil or something. Castrol oil. Uh, pick up the ammo. All right, let's see if I can do this. I am I am a very elite gamer. I'm gonna see if I can kill both of these motherfuckers with one shotgun, boom shot, buckshot, die! <laughs> Fuck your legs. <laughs> uh, there have been quite a number of times where I've, I've been able to knock them both, but unfortunately the one time I tried, I didn't get them. I made up for it in the first episode for zapping both of those bitches in the same place, so I guess it's uh, it's only fair. Remember, uh, since I'm doing the leave ending, I'm gonna heal a lot. Alright, so now this is what I think... He no, it's not. It's not what I think it is. I'm thinking too far ahead. Eula321. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches. Admitted to hospital wing after vomiting oxidant fluid during work. Oxidant fluid is effectively replica blood, so... Pretty image, I know. Clinical picture in line with other recent cases among protector staff. While we still have no indication what causes this syndrome, we've observed similar developments in all patients. Most puzzlingly, development of the syndrome seems to progress similarly in both replica and gestalt pa pa patients. Initial admission tests showed hypotension, high fever and dehydration, internal hemorrhaging, strong cognitive decline within the first cycle, alopecia and purpura. Within five cycles, skin will begin to peel in large patches, decline of vision quality and ability to communicate may follow. Gestalt patients will usually expire at this stage due to infections, while results for replica patients seem to vary. Remember that cycles are days in this particular instance, so in five days, their skin starts falling apart. And uh, usually death falls for human patients. But replicas turn into the ultimate being. The ultimate god of ultimate destiny, or whatever. Holy shit, that's a, fu that's a fucking flashback. <laughs> Perfect, I actually have enough inventory space for this. This is a Eula unit that's not dead. Everyone's turned weird. I'm the only one left, I think. Will I get sick like the others too? Now, it might look look like her head is twitching. It's not. It's just kind of the the angle she's holding her head at and the pixelated stuff. It's kind of making it look a bit strange, but I'm scared. I don't want to die. Well, too fucking bad. You look kind of familiar. Have we met before? At first, I... It was only Commander Falk who fell ill. Slowly, everyone started behaving strangely. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't want to become like the others. I don't want to die. Enough said, bitch. Enough said. Memorandum wall safe codes. This Adler guy is really annoying. He sends these memos to literally everyone. It's really, really annoying. Now, what you're probably looking for is this safe here. This is the sword safe. The sword is safe with me. As you notice, this safe has letters instead of numbers. Mm. This throws people for a loop, and it, was, it, it, it took two brain cells to figure this one out for me. So what we're going to do is activate the radio, and I'm going to give you some examples on how to solve this as well, because this is a little bit, it can be a little complicated. So if you look at the sword note, you'll see that on the left are, the, are a bunch of letters in a different assortment than what's on the keypad. As you can see, it's A-N-B-H-S-R. But here's A, B, R, N, E, K. Okay? This is not what you want to look at when you're deciphering the radio frequency. So just like with the tree, so we go to the, whoops. Just like with the tree safe, go to frequencies, and then tune your radio to the sword frequency. In this case, it's uh, 244. It takes an eternity to do it. Okay. Eight nine two eight seven. Eight nine two eight seven. So now we go to the sword note and we use that number, eight nine two eight seven, a 
according to the letters on the note, not the numbers or letters on the pad on the actual safe. So 89287 would be F K N F Z. F K N F Z. F K N F Z. Okay? If that doesn't make any sense, still, I do have a couple of extra examples on here. Okay, I, I hope that made sense. If it didn't make sense, I, again, there's some ex extra examples on the screen that I've uh, included. So you can hopefully get the idea. But just remember, the numbers that you get from the radio correspond to the note, not the keypad. So. Incinerator room key. Good, so I can go burn myself for that. This is a little thing that you can pick up. You don't have to. But this allows you to take pictures of the screen instead of using your uh, screenshot tool. You can only have six images on that particular unit at once. Uh, and it's used mostly just to kind of remember the uh, the x-ray room with the card, with the key card that's embedded in the rock in order to get the combination, uh, the pattern to define into the thing. And it can be used for other puzzles where the hints aren't very close to the puzzle itself and you will more than likely not remember or be able to reference correctly uh, the solution from that far away. So I'm going to stop by the save room just to put a few things away because we don't need all the stuff we have here. Uh, mainly the ammo. And that should be good. Okay. So now we're going to make one final stop to the incinerator which is through the morgue. So I finally get to go and die, which is wonderful. Now, just like in the one in the one room downstairs with the fan, uh, enemies will pop up through the floor in this room, so just be aware of that. I think only one of them or maybe two of them do, but either way. So now you use the incinerator key. We're now in the incinerator room. And, uh, I'm gonna pick this up. These are thermite flares. These are used to permanently kill enemies, because if you hadn't figured out by now, enemies can get back up. You don't permanently kill them by kicking them in the face. You just bully them and make them really upset, and they get upset and get up and angry and stuff. But yeah, we get the thermit. We get the thermit flare, so we can go around and kill people. Proper disposal of corpses. My, as you've probably heard, there have been multiple accounts of bodies decommissioned. Protectors spontaneously reconnect. As you've probably heard, there have been multiple accounts of bodies of decommissioned protectors spontaneously reactivating and acting in a defective manner. Uh, usually if they decommission, they become defective anyway. Based on November's autopsy report, it seems that all affected units showed some sort of cancerous growth in their organic components. According to her, unless completely incinerated, this growth may reactivate the replica even after it's been dead for hours. We don't know what causes this, and we're unsure who's affected. We can't keep up with incinerating all the bodies, even just with two incinerators that constantly need recalibrating, so we're improvising. These thermite flares are able to melt through replica armor and burn the organic components from the inside. I've requisitioned more of them, but there was some paperwork missing, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Juni. Excellent. Wonderful. So glad that's out of the way. So the incinerator. What you have to do to get this card here and burn the crap out of it is that we need to align the chakra, align the CO2, gas, and oxygen, carbon dioxide, gas, and oxygen, and to match this graph. So, um... I think roughly that's about the right ballpark, or it might even be correct. Oh, shit. Nice. Excellent. Okay, so I'll just point that out. Uh, if you tune this, I think I put this five notches to the left. Put gas five notches to the right, and O2, I think I put it like eight notches to the left. If you don't get it right, and the CO2 gas or whatever, and they, they, they'll they light up with one of these arrows telling you which, which direction you need. If it lights up with up, meaning you need more of it, 
push the dial to the left. So this way. If it's down, push it to the right. This is less. Right is less. Uh, left is more. So if you can't quite get it, uh, that's how you kind of figure that out. But I mean, I'm impressed I managed to actually get that first try. Okay. That's it. We're done with that. Uh, we've got all the keys. Now we can leave before we become a keys. And hang from the ceiling for the rest of our lives. And also light on fire very easily. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Move faster! Okay. Now that we have both the keys, use the gold key, and F for fire. K for gold. Alright. That's that. Uh, we will begin the next episode in the next episode. Because that's ten that tends to be what happens in the next episodes. Uh, as you'll notice, there's a giant hole in the ground, even though this is a save room, and there's a bunch of ammo around. You're going to want to stock up because there's a boss down there. Yeah. We're going to have some fun with that in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, uh, I will see you then, and we will go and fight the first boss of the game at the top.